Right, um, doing something a bit different now. I'm going to try to f repair, it's a fairly new car, Kia, and the washer wipers don't work. So it's a bit unusual, it's only three years old. So um, if we have a little demonstration, I'll show you what the issue is here. Yes, uh, quite pathetic I'm afraid. So we've already had a little exploratory look and uh, the pump and everything seems to be working quite nicely so I think we're going to have to dig in a little deeper and uh, we'll pop the bonnet up and we'll have a quick look. Right, um, pop the bonnet up and uh, I've managed to locate the pipe that uh, feeds the washers there and if we pop this off a second Right, um, if you give those a go now we got loads of pressure out of there. So from that point to the washer tank there, I don't, there's definitely not an issue. So the issue is from here and there. So we're gonna probably have to take all this plastic covering off here because I can't see any other way of getting to it. And possibly the washer arms might have to pop off as well. So uh, wish me luck. There's only a couple little clips there and um, if there's any, anything really important, uh, I'll come back to it and uh, we'll have a look at it. Right, I was going to go a bit ahead myself, but I thought it's probably worth showing how this cover comes off. Um, I've just taken the cap off the wiper there, and there's a 13mm bolt there. So we'll probably have to whip those off. And um, even something as simple as this, a lot of people might not uh, realise how they come off, but basically, you just push the centre in like that. Don't push it too far or it'll disappear. And then it pops off. Well, so look at that. There we go, that's already yeah. loose there. So uh, we'll carry it on. I, can, I think I can see um, another three. So there's one here. Push him in. There we go. Make sure you don't drop them because it's an absolute nightmare in modern cars. They get trapped in the under tray there and you can never retrieve them. They don't fall out the bottom like you might think. <laughs> there we go. Three. Four. I'll tell you what, while I'm here, I'll quickly demonstrate how you put them back together because that's just as important. That bit there we just pushed in. Push the opposite way so it's sticking out. Place it back where it came from. Simple as that. Okay. So you know how to take them off and put them back in then. Right, um, once again, before I get ahead of myself, I thought it's probably worth showing how the wipers come off because I've taken that bolt off and people yank at that. And just to prove me wrong, it's actually come off. They don't, <laughs> they often play up. So but often what you have to do is lift the arm up like that, which takes the pressure right, off there. Right. And then take it off. But just to prove me wrong, it uh, actually came off quite easily there. <laughs> All right, we'll give this one a try. You see, that's a little bit more difficult there. It's resisting, so just take the pressure off it like that. Uh-huh. Oh, look at off. that, yeah. There's a little tip. He does know what he's on about, yeah. yeah, yeah. Put those safely. Remember which is right and left, they are different. So uh, it's easy enough, the smaller blade will be on the passenger side there, so okay. keep that there. Right, um, it's worth mentioning, this is a Kia, Kia XC, R Rio. Kia Rio, that's the one, yeah. and uh, it's not my car, it's a... It's my car. So I, I don't really mind botching it up a bit, you know, I can... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not my property, so uh, we'll just go hammer and tongs at it. <laughs> but uh, only joking. But uh, <laughs> good. It's a little bit experimental, so you have to forgive me now. But uh, I think we've got to lift these. I'm just trying to work out how to take this out. It looks like we've got to prise these off these corners. Oh, there we go. And we'll do the other one on the other side. See if uh, that will help release it. Probably worth mentioning, seeing as I said it's not my vehicle. This vehicle belongs to a 
Sir Roger Crooks here. He, uh, <laughs> he's helped me out a fair bit and he, he always gives me a shout out so I think it would be rude if I didn't do the same so please please check out his channel. Uh, I, uh, I like trying to help him out so with little things like this so uh, he's, very, he's very handy on the gardening side of things so definitely recommend you check him out. It's just Roger Crooks. You type that in and you should get through to him. Uh, that's R-O-G-E-R-C-R-O-O-K-E-S. Definitely worth a check out. If, if you're not sure if it's me, it's normally a good looking bloke with a hat on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we're going to cut it there a second. I'm going to have a little exploratory poke around here and see what's going on, what's keeping this there. So we've got most of it loose, so I'm just going to have a little and then I'll report back. Okay. Right, um, it only took about 10 seconds of working out, but it's basically, I think it's just a bit of brute force required. Just a little bit, not too brute. So uh, let's get it, there we go. Ah. So he's, and then hopefully, we'll see what's going on here. There's a little bit of sealant on there. And there we go, we've dismantled a good portion of the car there. And uh, we'll have a little look what's behind here. So here's where it's been fed in. Oh, is that supposed to be there? I don't know. So we'll have a little look through here and see if there's any blockages. Um, oh, it looks quite good, so not 100% sure. But uh, perhaps we'll take these out one at a time, mm. disconnect them and see if uh, how the water flows through there. Yep, good idea. So uh, we'll cut back to that in a second now. Right, um, so what I've done is I've taken the washer nozzle off out of there and I'm going to connect it directly to there to see if there's any issue with that squirting properly once it's connected directly to the line. All right. So um, perhaps I'll have to take over camera duty for a second. Can you get him on there and then I'll... Um... And, uh, all right, yeah. So we'll get him on there. There we go. So just a bit of trial and error basically at this point and we'll see if we get any sort of decent action out of that now. Don't point him at me, will you? Oh, just... tempting, tempting. <laughs> In fact, let's point it right out at the road there just to be on the safe side. Okay. okay. Ah, that's interesting. Not much coming out. No, so there's an issue with the nozzles there I'd say and I can feel a lot of pressure behind the pipe there. Yeah. So we could be getting somewhere. So, let's have a look then. We are filming. Right, um, I can't often admit defeat, <laughs> but uh, this one might have me, and not necessarily a bad thing, but I think we've come to some sort of conclusion to exactly what the issue is. It looks like we're going to need a part, and, it, and it's basically one of these little nozzles here. Because... I've taken that out, water gushes through these very well on both of them, there's no blockages whatsoever, loads of pressure coming through and um, I've even come up with a little device which is basically a car valve from the wheel and we've put pressure in reverse through there and we're getting up to about 50 psi when we try to sort of... so. There's an issue with this, so it looks like we need a new one of these. So we're going to just sort of temporarily put everything back together and we'll have to report back when we get a spare part, I think. Mm -hmm. So uh, not a complete defeat, we think we, we definitely know what the issue is yeah. and all the pipes are clear. So it, it's a very odd issue because it's a fairly new vehicle this doesn't seem to be doing what it should be doing there's some sort of, there's a massive restriction in there and i've tried everything it doesn't come apart so uh i think uh the next little clip might be uh put it, uh replacing this and uh we'll give that a go so we won't call it quits just yet we'll be back again but, um, I did announce the end of a video a minute ago, but um, I thought this is uh, well, what I call bush mechanics, a quick fix, just for uh, 
in case we get caught out on the road and you really need the washer wipers eh? So what I've done is obviously that's just the, the wire that the pipe that connects there but I've put a piece of wire and I've bent the wire so it squirts at the windscreen and uh, we're just going to do the same on the other side so I've got I think it's 2.5mm cable electrical cable it's a solid wire and I'm going to stick that down there like that and then we're just going to bend it over like that so it's pointing towards the windscreen and we'll just tidy it up by taking a snip there and perhaps I'll get my uh, handy assistant to give it a whirl see if it uh, serves I'll, its purpose I'm going to give you the camera while I do that uh, this is what comes from growing up in Africa. You usually find a way of uh, fixing things. There we go. Look at that, eh? I think it's better than factory, I would say. So uh, there's our quick temporary fix until the next video. <laughs> right. It's about uh, two weeks on since my last uh, little clip and um, we've ordered some uh, new parts direct from the dealer from Kia and uh, got a little bit faint uh, when uh, we found out how much they were Is it, uh, perhaps Roger can tell us that, uh, that news well uh, yes I was, I was shocked to see that uh, uh, these guys here were uh, £10.21 each and I think it was £10.80 for the um yeah ten pounds for that fellas yes. so that's what we're looking at <laughs> <laughs> um there were cheaper ones online but not for this particular model so i had oh. to go direct to kia to get the exactly right right model but in the meantime i had a thought about these old ones that you'd um, taken out al and uh, i'd been cleaning my patio at home and my deck with um with patio magic other brands may be available um and that kind of gets rid of grime and, and, and algae and stuff off um, patios. So I thought, why don't I drop these guys, so these bad boys, into a, a little kind of... Oh, right. So how, how long were they soaking in the... In uh, they were probably in there for a few days, two or three days, I imagine, something like that. Uh, mainly because I forgot about them. Uh, oh, so. So I think uh, there's no harm. Uh, they're, um, we may as well give it a try, in it? And, Come uh, on, let's... Do. Right, um, we're going to have a little bash at this one then, so the little uh, squirting nozzle's just right in the brake light there, so mm. uh, this will uh, all a bit new for me. Uh, uh, just spotted this here, uh, I think you need some new wiper blades. Oh, so, yes. Uh, might be yes. a little trip down to uh, the auto parts, Halfords, etc. Uh, Other shops may be available. Yeah. <laughs> so let's have a look how uh, this comes apart, shall we? Right, there's our tube feeding it. So looks like we've got to take these three bolts off. Mm. So uh, let's whip those off, and uh, yeah, this will just be a little sort of be a little screwdriver there just to unplug that. So we'll start off by taking this off. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're not too bad. That's what I like. I'm not sure what that's for, it looks very similar, uh, maybe it's just a plug for a different model there, yeah. alright I see, so hopefully that should just uh, pop off then on the other side, a little persuasion, right, to put these safe, oh there you go sir, oh there we go, that's nice, that's loosened up, so oh, there we go, Oh. Oh, I'll take it off from the other side there and see what's what. Right, I think I'm going to have to close the boot here. Well, for your American cousin's trunk. Yeah. Ah. There we go, just tease him out. I see. 
So, right, I think we're going to have to sort of... Oh, that's interesting. Mmm. Is that a bit of heat or something cause that? Or? Well, it looks like it's been... Um, pinched. I pinched, think. yeah. Yeah. So that, that could be parts, you know, not helping things at no, all. No, indeed. So, um, give me a second, a minute. We'll, uh, I'll just get a really small screwdriver and it looks like that unclips there. Give me a second, a minute. Give Is me it? a second, a minute. All right. Yeah. I'll be there in an hour. Yeah. In a minute now. Now in a minute. Okay. We are now going to pause this program. Oh, that's, that, that does look like it's been pinched mm. it? for, for, since manufacturing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, been restricted. <clears throat> right. Um, so what I've done is I've come back this side here and uh, I've pulled the the pipe to the squirter off there, and so we'll just disconnect that. Just give it some uh, persuading. There we go. And uh, oh, might be worth go. just checking to see if that squirts through there. Is it? <laughs> Probably not a bad idea, just to make sure we are getting a good flow through there. So we'll do the same thing again. Do we need and, to um, put I'll, it so it's good yeah. to get away from my hat oh. or something? Oh. Well, what I'll do as well is I'll show you something quite interesting we've also discovered uh, in a second with regards to this pipe. So uh, this is just to uh, make sure we've got a good flow coming through there and there isn't a blockage somewhere else. So here goes. Ah, that's interesting. It's not coming. It's not coming through. No. So, oh, this isn't as uh, straightforward as we anticipated. Nope. Uh, no joy, I'm afraid. So, uh, it's not quite a straightforward swap. I'll um, I'll take that connection off there. See if there's any sort of a uh, filter or anything like that in there. We'll have a quick look at that in a sec. So uh, we've given uh, this little connector part stroke filter a clean out and uh, because we haven't really got the time to sort of wait a few days in there uh, with it soaking in that uh, patio magic uh, we, we've gone for uh, just basically a uh, diluted bleach there. So uh, we'll give that a try now. So we'll just reconnect it before we put everything together. This is still the old part by the way, we haven't put the new part in yet. So we'll just put that back together and uh, I shall get my camera assistant here to uh, give it a whirl and we'll see what, what it's like. Do you want to do it? I'll, I'll, um, okay, oh, yeah. we'll do that then. I'll just close this right. up. The old Welsh weather's uh, on form there. Mm -hmm. Start a draining. So how are we looking? Yeah, that's a good old jet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. We spent uh, two weeks waiting on parts, <laughs> and uh, we haven't used any. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a lesson somewhere there. I don't mm. know. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's basically been um, repairing the washer wipers on a Kia. Rio, got that right for the first time. You have, yeah. And and this particular model's a, a 2017 model. Red. Uh, in in a very very bright cherry red. Yeah. <laughs> so um, just the usual, uh, you know, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, many more of similar videos uh, in the very very near future. And uh, I'll try to uh, make the effort to upload a lot more and. Uh, get on the old computer. Thank you very much and uh, happy motoring. <laughs>